If you want to expand your knowledge of BitTensor, a huge decentralized AI project, you're in the right place. This technology is cutting edge and we're gonna break it down so even the most novice will understand. Welcome to BitTensor Subnets, a very cool experiment in decentralized AI. By the end of this video, you'll have a much better understanding of how subnets work, how people are making money from them, how you can participate, and whether this is genius or just a mess. I'm Shay and welcome to Deciphering Crypto, where I love to learn about crypto stuff and share what I've learned so that hopefully in the end, we're all just a little bit more knowledgeable. Stick around because we're breaking this down like you're 10. Minimal jargon, no bullshit, just straight talk. Let's do it. Okay, so what are subnets? Imagine your brain. Different parts do different things, right? One part handles speech, another handles vision, another does math. That's basically how BitTensor works. The whole network is like one giant brain and subnets are the specialized mini brains inside of it. Each subnet focuses on one specific AI task. Subnet A generates text. Subnet B creates images. Subnet C predicts stock prices. Subnet D detects deep fakes. Right now, over a hundred subnets are running tackling everything from protein folding to sports betting. Inside each subnet, AI models are competing against each other. It's literally an AI competition. Winner takes Tau tokens. Tau is the currency that powers powers everything. Think of it as the blood flowing through this AI brain, keeping it alive. The better your AI model performs, the more tau you earn. The worse it performs, you get kicked out. No trophies for participation. Every subnet has three main characters. Think of it like a reality TV show. First, we have the contestants, which are the miners. These are the people running open source AI models like Llama or Mistral. If the subnet is about language, miners run language models trying to give the best answers. They literally mine AI knowledge and get paid in Tau. But here's the catch. They have to pay an entry fee in Tau to compete. Perform badly, you're out and you get your fee back. Perform well, you're printing Tau. To just to clarify, registration fees and poor performance policies vary by subnet. They're defined by the subnet's own incentive mechanism. Okay, next we have to have someone judge this show and they're the validators. These people don't run AI models. Instead, they score the miner's work. Is this answer good. Is this one better? They're the referees keeping everyone honest. But validators must stake a ton of Tau as collateral, like betting their own money. Cheat or mess up, they lose their stake. Judge fairly, they earn Tau rewards. And then an important note, validator staking requirements and any penalties or slashing are defined per the subnet mechanism, not always identical network-wide. Then we have the game designers. These are the subnet owners. Someone has to create these competitions, right? Subnet owners decide, I'm making a subnet for stock predictions, or I'm building one for medical imaging. They lock up Tau to launch it, and if their subnet becomes popular, they earn a cut of all the Tau emissions it generates. It's high risk, high reward, like founding a startup. Oh, and there are delegators too. People who don't want to run anything, but stake their Tau behind validators they trust, earning passive rewards. The whole thing is an incentive game. Everyone's motivated to do their job well because Tau is on the line. So why does Tau have value? Value. Well, it has value for three reasons. Number one, staking, which is voting with your wallet. Tau holders can stake their tokens on specific subnets. It's like saying, I believe this subnet will succeed. When you stake Tau into a subnet, you're effectively exchanging Tau for that subnet's alpha token. If that subnet gains demand, its alpha appreciates versus Tau. Emissions are then split network-wide by alpha prices, so popular subnets attract a larger daily share. It's venture capital means crypto. The more Tau staked in a subnet, the more daily Tau rewards it gets. It's a free market. Good subnets get funded, bad ones starve. All right, number two is emissions, getting paid for work. New Tau isn't printed randomly, it's earned. Miners, validators, and subnet owners only get Tau when they're actually contributing valid. Per block Tau emissions starts at one Tau and halves on schedule. Each subnet's cut is proportional to its alpha price versus all others. The network reward success and cuts off dead weight. Popular, useful subnets get more emissions. Ghost towns get nothing. All right, and number three, usage, which is real demand. Here's the big one. To use these AI services, you need Tau. Want AI to analyze data, pay in Tau. Want predictions, pay Tau. More users equals more demand for Tau, and then the price goes up. It's not just speculation, there's actual utility here. If you wanna grab some Tau for yourself, I use Caleb and Brown 
and they're an Aussie crypto brokerage with offices in the US also. They make buying Tau super easy, especially if you're nervous about exchanges. If you want to support the channel, use my ref link in the description. They'll hook you up with great service and real people 24 seven. All right, now back to Tau. You might be thinking cool story, but why do we need these mini brains? Two reasons, specialization and decentralization. Specialization, you wouldn't make a weightlifter and a swimmer compete for the same metal, right? Different AI tasks need different approaches. Subnets let each AI category have its own competition with its own rules. This drives innovation fast. And then decentralization. Instead of Google or OpenAI deciding which AI projects get funded, BitTensor lets the community vote with Tau. Think your subnet idea is genius? Launch it. If people agree, they'll stake Tau and it flourishes. If not, it dies. It's Darwinism for AI. There are no gatekeepers, no permission needed, just open competition. The goal, create a marketplace where the best AI wins and anyone can contribute. All right, obviously this isn't magic. There are risks. Spam subnets. Anyone can create a subnet, so yeah, there's junk. Copycat subnets, cash grabs, vaporware. The system should filter them out. No stake equals death, but short term it can get noisy. Next risk is quality control. Bad AI models can slip through if validators aren't paying attention. Garbage in, garbage out. The network fights this with pruning and consensus, but it's ongoing. And then there's centralization. What? Centralization in this decentralized AI marketplace? Yeah. If a few whales hold tons of tau, they could control which subnets win. Early data showed top validators historically earned significantly more than top miners prior to DTAU. The new dynamic tau system helps, but wealth concentration is real. BitTensor is an experiment. Promising? Absolutely yes. Risky? Also a yes. So how do you spot a good subnet? Here's a quick checklist. Team. Known developers. Experience. Credibility definitely matters. Purpose. Does it solve a real problem or does it just sound cool? Traction. Any users? Revenue? Working product? Results beat promises. Community. Active on Twitter? Discord? Good communication is a very good sign. And economics. Does the token model make sense long term? Tools like TauStats.io show which subnets are getting staked and earning emissions. SubnetAlpha.ai lists what each subnet does. Jump in the BitTensor Discord to see what the community is buzzing about. Not every subnet will moon, but this checklist helps you separate signal from noise. All right, so what can you actually do with this info? Option one, you can use the network. Need AI services? Buy Tau, query a subnet, pay per use. You're fueling decentralized AI. Option two, stake Tau. Pick a subnet you believe in, stake your Tau, earn rewards if it succeeds. It's like angel investing, but permissionless. Option three is run a miner or a validator. If you've got technical chops and a GPU, join a subnet as a miner or a validator, contribute AI and earn Tau. Option four, just watch. Follow the project, check taustats.io, join the Discord space, and this space does move very fast. BitTensor isn't one click simple yet. Expect some command line tinkering if you dive deep, but it really is evolving quickly. All right, that's BitTensor subnets, the mini brains of decentralized AI explained like you're 10 years old. Quick recap, subnets are specialized AI competitions running 24 seven. Miners compete, validators judge, subnet owners create. Tau powers it all through staking, emissions, and real usage. It's ambitious, experimental, and yeah, a bit chaotic, but that's what makes it exciting. So here's my question for you. Is this the future of AI or the making of a shit show? Drop your take in the comments. I read every single one. If this clicked for you, hit that like button. It genuinely helps more people find this stuff. And subscribe because next week we're diving into how to actually become a bit tensor miner and start earning Tau yourself. You don't want to miss it. Until next time, keep learning, always improve, stay skeptical, take it easy.